Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly hide your Shopify store from the public if you're developing it or making changes or adding new products to your store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you wanna make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So as you can see, here's what the dashboard looks like. And currently I'm on the free trial for Shopify as I'm only doing this video with the dummy store. So uh, I'll, I'll be showing you the procedure anyway on what you need to do to actually hide your store. So once you guys are on the dashboard like me, you wanna navigate to the online store tab found between sales channels and point of sale. So it's this one right here. And we get, when you guys click on this, you'll see that there's a drop down with five options to choose from. So there's themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, and preferences. Now I'll show you guys what my dummy page looks like. So here it is, and this store is actually live right now. And so to show you guys what I mean, if I go to the site builder and click on customize, you'll see that it says that the store is live. Now to actually hide this from the public, there's only one surefire way to do it, and that's by going under preferences. So it's this tab right here. And once you guys are in preferences, you'll see a bunch of different um, uh, tabs for it. So there's a uh, title and meta description, social sharing image, Google Analytics. So you basically just link up your, uh, your analytics account or your measurement ID or tracking ID to your Shopify store, Facebook pixel, so on and so forth. Now, this is the interesting part. So under password protection, uh, if you guys have this enabled, if you have a plan, but currently I'm on the dummy one, so I'm unable to do this, but let's say that you're running an online store in Shopify, and you have access to this option right here. If you make sure that this is ticked or um, checked, the option that says restrict access to visitors with a password, then um, only the people, uh, this would hide your store from the public and the people who could access your store are the ones with your password here. And uh, this, what this effectively does is hide your store, including the URL for from anyone who wants to visit it. So only the people with your password can actually access the store and obviously by default this is um, disabled, but uh, if you pick a plan that you can enable this or, or basically work, uh, work around the toggle. So if you guys were developing your store still or making some changes, then you can have a setting turned on or off. So yeah, that's video. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.